And I'm sat there thinking, you guys like, are happy that I failed. Why are you subscribing to my OnlyFans? Why are you spending your nine to five money to see my The punish for being weak, you learn from that and you don't subscribe again. Now how much money do you make? You can guess. Two to three million dollars a year. Way more than Way that. More than that. Bro, I'm not scared of any gay person or transgender person. Say you're a, you start off as a man and you transgender to a female, you're not a female. Yeah. You're just a fucking weird man. Are you happy right now, do you think, as a person? Yeah, I don't think I could be happier, to be honest. When, when I marry, I'm going to probably marry a Muslim virgin. <laughs> I like Arab girls. Do you have any fat friends? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to the podcast. So today we have a very special guest. Actually, two guests on the podcast. We are here with Alexis and Harrison. Welcome to the podcast, guys. I'm the only one clapping. <laughs> the only one clapping. The so, intro's uh, always a bit awkward. Yeah, always yeah, just to get podcast. into it, you know? Um, so welcome to the podcast, first Thank of you. all. Um, so for those of you that don't know, you go by the name of HS Tiki Toki Online. Yeah. And today we're going to see a side of him, which you don't normally see online because you're known to be kind of crazy. Yeah. Is, is that like your persona? Is that you? No, I'm I'm a mad guy off the camera as well, but obviously there's two different sides. When I'm on the camera all the time, you've got to do certain things for views and stuff like that that I may not do otherwise. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I've I've got two sides to me: the business side and the the crazy side. But he doesn't like fat people. Yeah, I, when I actually like what I say online, I agree with. <laughs> that, was like, bit, that was a bit random. That was You're a just, bit random. Just canceling me straight away, all right? You, you don't like fat people, why? I don't dislike them, but I just say that they need to. Stop saying about body positivity when they can't see their toes. It's not. It's not positive to be fat. It's Honestly, like I know, I'm not gonna say like I, I. I get your point. I agree to a certain extent. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Like I say, like unless you have a severe like issue that you can't lose weight, then you're you're just fat. Yeah, right, like, so, obviously, if you've got a medical condition, that's fair enough. Yeah, but if you can help it and you're just fat for the sake of it, there's no need. Really. <laughs> and it's always and what it is as well. Yeah, um, is the all the fat ugly people go together. And they have this body positivity movement and all it is is so that all of them feel okay. And with the easy option, which is to keep eating food, not put the fork down. They don't want to actually just go in the gym, do some cardio and be healthy. They'd yeah. rather all just gang up together and it makes them feel secure. But this is a very weird start to the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we got straight into it. So obviously you, you have a lot of, I feel like you're one of those guys online that you're very opinionated. You're not scared to feel like, talk about your opinions. So since we got straight into the fat matter. I've got no time for them. I would never be friends with someone. Like all, all my friends, I've got three, four, five close friends and they all are the, share the same views. Do you, have any, do you have any fat friends? No. <laughs> I wouldn't surround myself with someone who's got that type of mindset. That's not the type of people I want around me. Yeah, you just want like people that get. I don't want uh, weak people. No, that makes sense. Fat people are weak. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? It's, it's. Uh, I mean, obviously they're not the best version, but I want to get back straight into like how you started. Obviously, um, where where did you start? I I guess where did everything start taking off for you? Because when did you really get on social media? Did you start making money before social media, or is that where it kind of started? No, so I started. When I actually first started was me just going to the gym and stuff when I was about 16 years old. But in terms of the social media side, I was posting workout videos and stuff during lockdown yeah. to try and just help people out. I saw that there was a, a gap from my era. I'm from Brentwood. There was just no one posting fitness content. So I thought, you know what? I'll help people around me get in shape. Maybe one day I can sell some plans and make some money off of it. Yeah. Um, it wasn't doing well. Like I was getting maybe like 100, 200 likes during lockdown. But I had the view in my head, if I can gain 10 followers a day, 15 followers a day, then that compounds over time and I'm going to get to where I want to be, yeah. which was just to be free and not to um, not to sort of be in the system as such. It started taking off when I was, I went to university and this was basically the time that I had one year to give it a shot or just redo the year and redo university. Um, so I proper just went all on social media. I didn't even go to one lecture when I was at university. I was just banging out the gym, um, trying to grind, go out, getting pictures and stuff like that. And then where it really took off was that I decided to sell training programs on live. The first day I sold it uh, off of my Instagram with my friend Ed, was we sold zero pounds, uh, zero plans, made zero, zero pounds. Uh, we were quite demotivated, but then I thought, you know what, I'll try and use my skills of talking to talk on a live stream. I did it on a live stream, made like 400 pound. One live stream. Yeah, yeah. And I had no money. When I said no money, I was like, I had a protein sponsorship and imagine how much I was making on a protein sponsorship with like 1,000 Insta followers. It was probably like, 50 pounds 60 pound like a month something like that it's ridiculous yeah. and i was eat all my meals were just the pro uh, like protein shakes like the two three of them a day and then i'd have like off-brand wheat a bix and um, so you were like 
I was living on a budget. Like my yeah. mom didn't, my mom didn't give me any dough while I was at university. I was like living on a budget. And then 400 pounds for me in like a half an hour live was like, that was life changing. I was like, what the fuck? My friend said, um, bro, like we've made it, we've made it. I was like, no, we haven't made it. We need to do this again and again and again. And then I went live again for half an hour, 40 minutes later, made another like 300, 400 pound. Yeah. And was like, all right, fuck, we've got a method here. Let's do it tomorrow. I did it three times, made a K. Then was making a K a day for like two weeks and then went to Marbella, our views went off. So I made like three K a day, four K a day. And then, wow. Yeah, then it just went up, yeah. So you started making like, that's, that's almost like a hundred thousand a month. Yeah, I went from like, from from zero to a hundred K a month. I went there within four weeks. Wow. Like from When I say zero, I mean like, cool. I was, I you were like broke. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And even when I was, even when I was on the lives, like this was the first bit of money that was coming in, but it was like a thousand pound a day. And back then I thought, like this is i thought i was at the top i thought i went from the bottom to the top yeah oh like the top of the whole world i was like i remember i'd be walking down uh birmingham as well i was at university and looking at people around and i'll just be like do you reckon he makes more than a thousand pound a day and we was all like nah nah like there's no way yeah or i was mad yeah, so you're like you mad. became like the richest in your your city like oh, quick. It, was just, it was crazy like i said to my mum, didn't even believe it when i told her because it is it's, it's crazy numbers to just go from zero to that and just from trying something, you know? Yeah. I just thought, why don't I just try and talk? Cause I used to do lives, I still do them now where I talk to girls on there. And mm. I just thought, instead of just, I'll talk to the girls, I'll get the views in. And then when I think the views are at the highest, I'll try and sell the, sell a program. Yeah. And then it just it just worked. I had a, a sort of script that I had in my head of how to sell, a, sell them the need and things like that. And it just worked. It and just how old were you when you were making this money? Uh, 19, I think it was my first oh. year of uni. Yeah, 19. Oh damn! Eighteen or nineteen, I think I was. 19. So this is when you first started making money on social media. Before that, you were just doing it for fun. Yeah, I mean, while I was in lockdown, I actually did a, a like a trading group. I had thirty people paying me like thirty pound a month. Yeah, but that died off after a few months because I couldn't trade. It was just <laughs> 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 so you were charging them, but you didn't know what you're selling. I, was, I, I learned how to trade, but like to be an actual expert trader, as I know now, I've traders below me. A lot of them, you need to put in years to it, and you need to be sat on your laptop all day. But how, how did you convince trading. them to pay you the money? Because I used to go live stream. Maybe there was eighty or ninety people watching, and I would. But well, I'm a smart guy. I learned the skills that you can learn for free on YouTube, and I studied them, and I even joined a paid group where I learned more skills. But, but I was on live, and I might hit one or two trades based off of. Fibonacci and support and resistance lines and basic things like this. And if you hit one trade and you make 60 pound, people listens. are like, oh, this guy knows how to trade. So I just sold that and got them into the group. And there's even YouTube videos up now that are still up of me talking to maybe like 50 or 60 viewers that are, that are paid overall and telling them how to trade from reading candlesticks to everything like that. But me, myself, I'd only started a few weeks before that. Damn. But I put my all into it. Like I yeah, always like you knew sat it. down, you learned. I always know I'd make dough. I was just trying different things. To so is, is that the goal for you? Like, has it always been money? Is that like, you just want to make money? Yeah, since I was young, because my mom used to work at BP and I did a bit of work experience maybe when I was 13, 14 uh, at the trading desk. Yeah. I saw all these guys making mad dough and I thought, fuck, like, I want to be a trader. I want I want the money. It was always the money for me. Like my mom brought me up saying, look, if you've got money, you can do this. You can be free. You can have the cars. You can do this. Yeah. You can have the holidays. And I'm sorry to ask this, but... Uh, your family like you keep saying your mom your dad's present or no 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 so my dad went to go get the milk and i think they sold out <laughs> <laughs> so like since like you were super young or like since like forever you before just... i was born oh yeah, okay, okay. Just, yeah, yeah okay um and how's your relationship with your mom just because i want to kind of like understand like what made you work so hard you know my relationship with my mom is crazy strong due to the fact that she is the obviously the only person that brought me up yeah. And that she sacrificed so much for me. She sold her house to put me through private, uh, primary school and secondary school. Yeah. Um, and struggled to sort of pay the bills each month to keep me in secondary school and, pri um, and primary school because my dad didn't pay fuck all. My dad actually had a few quid. He used to play rugby for England, oh. uh, but he didn't he didn't pay towards me. So my mum had the burden of me. So my relationship with her is like mad close. She's out here in Dubai with me now. I know. Yeah, when I go to Marbella, she'll come with me to Marbella. I'll bring, I'll bring her everywhere with me of course yeah oh that's beautiful she that's sacrificed beautiful. everything for me if i didn't make it she'd be fucked. yeah like she wouldn't even have enough now to be like retiring on and shit like she'd be fucked. Yeah. No, so, that, that, that's actually beautiful yeah. and you were saying for school you went private school went private primary and private secondary yeah why didn't you go to public school um because my mum just thought if i went to private school it's, it's, it's better it's education better for you? Yeah. it is a better education yeah no I'm, I'm just wondering you know yeah so she put me through there just for just to increase my chances of being successful 
Uh, I mean, you did make it, so like, now nah, it's like it paid off. Yeah, it was a good risk. A question though: What's your opinion on school in general now? Because obviously now you're like, you know, this guy's like, screw the system and you know the matrix, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What's your opinion on school? Um, my opinion on school now, I can't give you a, a solid opinion on it because I, I've not been back to the UK for a while and I'm not seeing the schooling system. But I can give you the opinion of when I was there, and it's very much about uh, to not think too much and to just not fail and to follow um instructions it doesn't really teach you to be an independent thinker and i think the people that the, i know people that were crazy book smart at school i was book smart as well but i always used to think that like, this is bollocks like i don't actually care yeah about. i don't so want to only learn it. bro the only reason i paid attention was because i thought this will make me money i was actually listening and thinking like why do, the f do i care that this plant does this yeah like, that, that's literally the same kind of thing like, i used to study and i was like okay if i do good that means i'm gonna do good in life but then eventually you're like what the hell am i doing this for yeah and i think it got to like university where i was like you know what actually this is just bullshit i, I really don't want to do this anymore yeah i mean i think the schooling system is probably probably just declining and declining and declining in the uk especially with just cost of living going up and yeah. more, more kids probably seeing their parents struggling seriously bad to pay the bills at the end of the month and them, them kids are then probably thinking all right what can i do and they go out and start selling drugs and stuff like this and then but i, I know at my secondary school um which is a private school now i know that there, there's a real problem with vaping um, yeah like vaping in the toilets and all the spice vapes and all this shit did you vape by the way no i don't vape nothing at all you're no, trying when, when i'm at a party i might have a, i might have a vape like if i'm if i'm drunk but like, i don't vape i don't smoke and nowadays obviously you're you're around a lot of girls i i, I don't know is that part of your brand is this just like who you are because my brand bro. Can't look, can't, how, how you do you guys look like this and not be around a lot of girls <laughs> you know what i mean one doesn't go without the other yeah by the way, how do you guys know each other because i feel like you're really good friends um yeah, we met through his friend actually yeah no, we met we met at a club oh PA. no yeah we met at the club i, I, we? I went yeah, to a club yeah, in the uk yeah. and i saw her in the club and then she did some business with my friend like she does only fans and oh. then then i just met her in in dubai she didn't she come on a stream with me in dubai really liked her got on really well yeah friends with my mum now so oh she, like she's in my circle now she's oh friend. nice nice yeah, nice, yeah. nice and you have a lot of female friends or like she's my only female friend i don't have i don't really have female friends around me yeah because i feel like i don't know with i don't know it's just judging you like i feel like you couldn't have be friends with the girls no no i can and and the reason for this is because uh, Alexis has a sort of a personality similar to my mum, which is like uh, oh, not okay. not the average female. She's not like ditzy and fucking stupid and yeah and all this stuff. Like it's not I no offense stupid, to women. No 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 offense <laughs> to women. No offense to women at all. Um, but like she's got really good morals. She's a good person. And yeah. She's, she pushes me to do well. You know, she pushes me to improve, make more make more money and stuff like this. Whereas other girls that are around me, they just want to fuck me and stuff, and that's it. Yeah. So that's why she's my friend. I've had <laughs> probably two other friends, two other uh, female friends throughout my whole life and they've had literally the same personality as her oh, and awesome. i still will text them occasionally but obviously with them being in the uk it's not the same so i want to move on um because obviously i feel like you're now like a business guy you know like you're a businessman you you love making money um right now what's your main source of income because so yeah i've got a, a forex broker finesse fx cheeky little plug <laughs> cheers man <laughs> finesse <FX. laughs> yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've got a forex broker um, I'm gonna bring out the fitness plans again now. Yeah. I sell a few watches, um, but yeah, it's all from the forex broker. Yeah, you have some of the watches here, by the way. Should, no, should... there's li there's literally two in there. I can get oh, them out. Okay. Yeah, can we see them? I did not expect this, but he he came to the house with like a, a box of watches. No, so just, yeah, this was this so was nice. gifted to me by a dear friend, the other one. Oh wow! But so, that's, so wait, that's you nice you, you buy and sell these? Yeah, I'm not no, I'm not selling You're either not... of these. No, this was the personal collection, and then oh, like, this is yeah. a personal collection. This is really how much are these? That's like. 400 english 450 english wow that's expensive yeah you could probably sell out for like 500 english to an end user half a million pounds the one on his wrist is worth more though this is like this is this one's mad this, one, that? this is like a vintage a vintage watch worn by the uh sultan of oman in like 1972 this is like well you could an, a, a watch that was worse than this auction for 2.5 mil so this is like it's, it's up in the air it's one on one wow so the value i don't know damn that's know. crazy so so like you love hustling that's been your thing since uh early age but what's what's the plan now moving forward so actually i want to get onto it you've got into this trading stuff right yeah um and obviously i'm sure you get a lot of backlash for it 
Not really anymore. No, I did. So I, I started it just before January. Got huge backlash on social media, like mega. Yeah. Um, just saying sort of scam, 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 scam. But now there's so many people in the group and there's so many um, people making money that they're, they're not saying that anymore. But in terms of it, like you get people to sign up, but do you give them like signals or you don't like it? Yeah, yeah, I do. So what I was doing was I was affiliating for another broker. That's a very common thing that people do. Yeah. Right? And these brokers that you affiliate for, they are brokers they're not good brokers and that's why i made my own broker they are bad i don't do you know any anything about trading at all? yeah yeah, yeah. so they have bad spreads yeah that can say you want to buy here like each time you buy and sell you lose a lot of money yeah so you buy here and you're actually buying in here yeah and they do f you over the whole point of this affiliation game is that you affiliate people to a broker and then they, they lose yeah right? so i made my own broker there's two different types of brokers right? there's a book brokers b book brokers b book brokers make, make money off your losses a book brokers make a commission on your trades right so <laughs> I just started doing my, I got mad, mad, mad um, backlash in sort of January, February time. And then I started uh, posting on my Instagram. I was like, look, do you know what? Yes, the, the business model is I do get a commission. I did, and obviously now it's my broker, but I did get a commission when you signed up. But I said, here's a screenshot, a screen recording of all the trades that have been posted in the group this year. Go back and check them and tell me if you made money. And then people are like, all right, do you know what? Fair enough. Because my bill a month is like 70, 80,000 English for like 11 or 12 traders that are below me. That are, that are good yeah they're very good and um, oh you pay them to like yeah, yeah they're other. all they're all on salaries like they're all on serious salaries um yeah. just to put signals in my group and give educational content as well so i actually flew someone out here not i did sorry didn't fly someone out it's someone flew out here called jamie um who had made like over 100k in three months from the group and he bought a rolex off me and i got testimonials with him but even then people were like nah this is fake you paid for him to be out here and this and that but i hadn't like I yeah actually hadn't yeah but yeah, it's, it's going really well so far. That's 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 all I can say is if you've been in the group since January, you will have made a lot of money. Yeah. Sim simple as that, like a lot of money. But, uh, but I make money myself through trading. Like my trading account is more than any other single investment I have apart from this. Really? Yeah, my trading account's 700 and something K. Just in your trading account? Yeah, yeah. But that's like, that's my biggest thing. Apart from this. Apart from the, the watches, that's yeah. where your money no, is. No, apart from this one watch. Like, oh, okay. Are, I'm saying like single investment. Single, okay, no, okay. No other watch is worth 700. Oh, no, that is. But all right, apart from that, it's up there. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. So how, how's your your your, your friendship? How, how, how do you see it? Like from a female perspective? Because um, obviously, like, I feel like online, women are scared of you. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, when I meet, <laughs> you know? when I meet girls, yeah, when I meet girls, even uh, if say we're on like boat parties or whatever like this, it's seven times out of ten, like they'll say, "Oh, like Harrison's mad, intimidating, and stuff like this." Yeah. Like, they're scared to talk to me and stuff. They think I'm a dickhead yeah. because of what they see online. But off camera with girls, I'm not always a massive twat. I think they think like as well, like that like, he's going to be rude and stuff. But like when they get to know him, they actually think he's, he's a good person. Is that kind of your experience with yeah. it? Was there any like yeah, weird, I think when, when you get got to know at the beginning, was there any like weird experience or like was it? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's fair. a story there, you know. <laughs> no, there is a story. Um, we were gonna meet up, but then we didn't end up meeting up. I ended up coming to Dubai instead. But um, at first we weren't actually gonna be friends. We were just it was just gonna be like one one of every other girl he takes to like a hotel or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah. Then, yeah and, and then, then i thought she was nice and i was just friends yeah, yeah. so yeah but he is a really nice person oh. it's because i've been raised by a good woman yeah. yeah so even though like my mum, of course my mum sees me some of the th things i say online and go like what the fuck are you talking what about did I you're, do? You're, yeah yeah but realistically some of that is actually what i think some of it's a bit exaggerated but to my mum, i have the, the utmost respect yeah and i'm not i'm not that way to her of course but to other women, is yeah, it? that's 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 the thing with it. It's like, yeah, I'm not, so, gonna, I'm not gonna deny. It. I'm not like that to my mom at all. I'm so respectful of my mom. Yeah, of course, I can. Even the way you speak about it, right now, are you in a relationship? No, I, I would never get in a relationship just due to the fact that um, I think it ties you down in the in the business world. I don't want to. I, I won't allow myself to get feelings for someone just because of that. Even uh, if I, like, there's been a few girls I see, well, of course, if you see a really nice girl who's really nice, whatever, she's really fit, you might start liking her, but you just cut it off. Well, that's what I do anyway. I agree. I think that it's the distraction. Yeah. I feel like you don't work your hardest when like you're in a relationship with someone. Have you ever been in a relationship before, like a committed one? Yeah, yeah I've been in one relationship and that, that was, I fell off bad, stopped making money. Like I was going live like 
once or twice a week making like two three k a week and just spending like 10k a week and this is while you were on social media kind yeah of, yeah right? this was like a year a year ago i was, the I was just going out in london like getting a fucking table just for me and i and just sitting on the table and just just splashing just being an idiot eating a hack of sam three times a day just being a kid but I, I like the girl and that's what happens. Um, yeah. But that's made me realize that's not going to happen again and nothing will put me off of that um, grind again. Nothing would stop me from doing that. Like literally nothing would stop me doing that. Uh, was it like a public relationship? Yeah, people knew about it, yeah. But don't you think there's that like, there's a girl out there that you could actually just like, she works, you work and then like free time, you just meet each other? Yeah, but for me, it's like, I don't, why would I get in a relationship when I'm now, when I'm 21, when I have an abundance of women around me? Yeah. and can I, and go and go out with my friends and go and do this and travel here i wouldn't have a girlfriend it doesn't make sense to me. but like if you theoretically met the girl where you're like damn this is the one would you give it a shot or no you're just gonna... probably not no but it, uh, because you, not, the, you, you say oh this girl is the one you can there are a million girls in the world that are nine out of tens with good morals so yeah the one i think is bollocks but if you believe in that fair enough but i don't believe in the one the one yeah. Because that, uh, through my experiences, there are obviously there are just different types of girls. There are the there are the bottom barrel girls who are fit, but they've got <laughs> awful morals and they're bottom barrel. That's the bo- bottom of the barrel, the slags. Like, okay, the yeah. ones that are just like next man. Yeah, all of this stuff, and then you obviously have the 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 top. Yeah, and there's a lot of the top, and there's a, there's more at the bottom, but there are a lot of the top, and I've seen some at the top. I think maybe when you're older, though, like not right now, because obviously with what you do, but I think when you're older. Yeah. You're not going to be single for the rest of your life. Oh, no, of course. I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to be like um, Dan Bilzerian. Yeah. Nothing like that. I, I will eventually um, get a serious girlfriend, but it's just not on my radar now. I'm not someone who needs to have a girl. Um, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't... I don't. But you've had like one relationship or multiple? Like, um, I've had one serious one. I've had maybe like... A um, couple. Uh, one through, through secondary school. And in these relationships, did you ever cheat? <laughs> it's not cheating, bro. It's exercise. Uh, yeah <laughs> so like you you like okay let's just for the sake of it cheated on that i literally don't count it as cheating cheating sounds bad and like morally wrong like when i i would never admit to cheating i think that sounds but i wouldn't say that i think every guy cheats there i i like I don't think guy. so. I don't yeah. think every guy does. I'm just saying a lot. Probably. 99% yeah. of guys would cheat. 99% of guys definitely cheat. Like. Would you be okay on being cheated on? Well, uh, to be fair, I get asked this question quite a lot. Um, but I mean, like, if I was, like, with someone, I would rather know that they're, like, cheating on me than not know. Because, like, if you're with someone and then they're cheating on you, you don't know, like, it's just a bit weird, like, them doing it behind your back. So if your boyfriend um, said, hey, I'm going to go cheat on you which is i i guess an open yeah because not... i think like if you're sleeping with someone else like it's not it's just a one-time thing like it doesn't really mean anything do you get me like this is no fact. women attached, don't talk like, like this women should talk like this on the internet this is straight facts yeah it's like there's no like emotions there's no attachments it's literally just like they're just sleeping with one girl like maybe like some slag or whatever and then they come back to their wifey at home like but would you be okay with that yeah <laughs> i feel like you're just lying i'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest because i feel like girls would say that and then the no, second it happens obviously like there it there can be jealousy and like obviously sometimes it's a bit like but the thing is like you know that it doesn't mean anything so it's not really like that deep to be fair i like, think genuinely yeah. i don't think it's that deep honestly I'd, like everybody i mean do you think it's deep do you do you think it's like have you been in situations where you've done that or not because for me, I I I, lo- I was in a relationship. I, I definitely liked slash loved the girl I was with. I could go out with my friends. There'd be another fit girl in there who I fancy that night because of my sexual urges as a man. Yeah. I go and sleep with her. As soon as I bust a nut, I'm out. See you later, babe. Yeah. Gone. Never see her again. Never text her again. There was no emotion there. It was just a bit of fun. That's that's why I say a bit of exercise. It was sort of a joke. It yeah. means absolutely nothing. Whereas if you have a girl who you're seeing a lot who you like and care about it's a completely different experience not just in the bedroom but just in general like it's a, yeah. uh, the, the way i treat a girl who i'm just sleeping with randomly as opposed to my girlfriend is crazy different yeah <laughs> crazy different uh but was that the reason you guys broke up um Powerful? yeah yeah just i was going too mad with it yeah but it was just yeah just too mad with it just yeah like too many girls and stuff yeah. too many girls <laughs> and like i was i was i was, i then moved to a different country and yeah. stuff and it was it was that's how that fizzled out but my point is is that 
like I could go into a relationship with a girl. She could have that mindset that you, I don't know if you believe in it, but the mindset of like, oh, the guy's not going to cheat, whatever. And then when they actually realize what you bring to the table and stuff and how you are with them. And then you actually say to them, look, like I'm going out tonight with my mates. I don't want to come home with, and just like smash you up. I want to go and stay in a hotel and, and have some fun. It yeah. is what it is. And you go back the next day. But girls are in denial when they, girls need to think like this because this is what happens the majority of the time. I'll, be, I'll put money on it that the majority, the vast majority of men who have got options and um, yeah, yeah, who, who have got options will explore them even and can still love a love a girl. Even like grown men that are married that have kids, they they cheat. Like everyone cheats. I've been in like so many situations where I've like seen a guy and like they've got literally their wife on their phone and then they're like trying to chat you. Like it's obvious everyone cheats. So I don't see why. Uh, at my primary yeah. school, this is an interesting story. I, I, at my primary school, there are guys obviously. Um, it was a private school. Their dads were up the city, whatever. They had their wives, and one of my mum's friends owned a strip club. Yeah. Um, a guy, and he uh, actually spilled the beans that these guys who were, who were going in the strip club and banging <laughs> the strippers. Jeez. So, I mean, I think it happens a lot. I think women that sort of act like it doesn't happen, and no, nah, my guy would never do that. I think they're deluded. But mm. that's ha for them. Have you ever been in a relationship? Yeah, I have. Are I was you... in a relationship for like nearly four years, actually. Uh, and like why did that and just just curious um just because i don't know i just didn't really love him anymore and i was like young and we just used to argue it was toxic and it just wasn't for me and like now i'm out of that relationship i've done really well in life like yeah. i was like i was literally just an average girl i was like a dental nurse and i i was making like 1500 pound a month sounds like a lot to like some people but it's not a lot at all. yeah um, yeah, you've then, done mad well. Yeah, you've like well. I left him and then my life just got better and better and better. I don't really talk about this stuff, but we'll just get into it. You do like adult content type of things. Mm -hmm. um, you have done that too. Bro, no. don't insult me. <laughs> no? You think I'll do only fans? How, uh, you opened one, I think, but you never posted about it. Oh, it was just a joke, that. Yeah. Oh, bro, that was, oh, right, I can't know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I just robbed the internet. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I, thought, I, mean. I thought you were saying, "Do I do that?" I was like, "Bro, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, of course not." But, but have do you not have like a Telegram group where you post stuff like that? Mm, it depends what you deem as stuff like that, like sexual content. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's not really like. No, I, I'm not in your Telegram group. No, but, it's not. It's uh, not. Uh, it's not. But I've heard like you like it's a point of view sexual. Yeah. Mm. Mate, there may have been videos in like in like London hotels or whatever from like an angle over here of a girl's head moving up and down, but not like not anything that's even yeah, close. He get his bits like, not, no, no, like not anything that's even close to that. But like it's something happening and there's a video. Potentially, or she could just be just going like this. You never know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, look, we're not, I don't want to talk about this too much, but actually, just, just because there's only one thing. Do you know what like, that is, though? Do you know what that is? It, that's, that's just a. Um, that's to show these guys the life I'm living. Yeah, it's it, it's better for me to just say, look, like this is, yeah, I'm, I'm getting head off two chicks a night every night, yeah. rather than saying that, rather than saying it, I'd just be like, look, these are the two birds are in my bedroom now. Ha, have you ever had like a problem with the girls recording them? No, 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 they're, bro, they, mate, they're coming to me. They, they love it. Yeah, they want to be. Oh, I'm, I'm, I've been with HS. I've been with this. Oh, so so they they kind of like as in that, yeah. I mean, no, they all know. That I'm not Stephen Baron and mate. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I no. want to talk about one thing that's a bit serious though, because um, you opened this um, OF account, OnlyFans account, and then you kind of just like people paid for it, but they didn't get what they want. So this was because. I just did a little sort of prank on the internet to show how easily fooled they are, right? A lot of people were saying, oh, like you're renting your cars, you're renting your watches, you make no money. Like, no, TikTok, I can't be making this type of money, all this bollocks. So I went online and I said, all right, guys, I'm being honest, I'm broke. My life's been a lie, blah, 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 blah. Surprisingly, that got flat 5 million views because people love to see other people fail more, yeah. than, pe more than win. And all, all my message before this was all about the crabs in a bucket mindset, uh, of living in, in the UK and all you people are too busy hating on other people rather than improving your own life. So I just did that, ran with that story for a few days. I said, look, uh, my rent's up on my apartment in a few days. I'm going back to the UK. And everyone was then, so everyone went from hating on when I was flexing a watch or flexing a Lambo, whatever it was, to then being supportive. Oh my God, it's so good that he's come out. Like he's such a good person. I've changed my opinion on him. And I'm sat there thinking, you guys like, are, are happy that I failed. Yeah. You, know? you guys are happy. 
But anyway, I said, then I said, right, I, I was going to end it and come out and say, uh, yeah, guys, I was, I was controlling you, but I was like, all right, let me make a few quid here. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm going to say to everyone I'm broke and I need to do an OnlyFans to pay that money back. Subscribed, done almost 100K and then fucked it off. I'd like, literally on the thing, it was, I literally said, you guys have been finessed, lol. You guys are silly. Why do you want to see my c on all this shit? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get so it. So I, I had the last laugh. But like, I mean, maybe some of them were genuinely sad for you. I wanted to help you. No, 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 bro. It wasn't my fans. In my telegram, I said, boys, this is a, this is a joke. Don't subscribe to my shit. So if you're not in my telegram, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, you're not my supporters. I'll scam anyone if you're not supporting me. I don't care. But how, how do you know? You know, like, as in, like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, maybe one person that just I, found I, out. About I said, anyone that followed, I said, I said, anyone who's in my uh, finesse telegram, send me a screenshot of you subscribing to my thing and I'll refund you. Didn't get one sent to me. Oh. Because I was saying in my telegram, I was like, boys, uh, um, I'm going to drop on OnlyFans. There's two days left now of this, uh, of the, I was calling it like the great finesse or something like this. I was yeah. like, this is the plan. Everyone's laughing. Like even some people in the TikTok comments who are in my telegram are going, boys, you do know this guy's joking. But to the to the other public, the idiots, I was literally proving how stupid the internet are and how easily led they are. And if they're that easily led by me, what are they, what else are they led by? Loads of bollocks. So yeah. that was just my little um, sort of cue to them. And, and that was that. Spent it on a watch. Didn't look back. <laughs> No, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I, I just don't really see that as like a, like, it, like I get the point. You know, I definitely get it. But like, don't you feel like, look, I might follow you. I don't follow your Telegram. You know, uh, obviously, someone that's gonna subscribe to that. I mean, I get it. The mindset's already stupid. Well, but, but yeah. mate, okay. On on top of that, I'm then if you want to go at another angle in another positive way that I've done, I've punished you for being weak. Why are you subscribing to my OnlyFans? Why are you spending your nine to five money to see my? <laughs> yeah I, I mean so that, you're punished for being weak you learn from that and you don't subscribe again well, but they do there's always going to be a market for them because there's weak-minded people out there so yeah. for me i don't feel bad about it at all my fans don't care i don't care yeah they're not weak though if they subscribe to mine and see my tits there <laughs> <laughs> i actually talking about that um obviously because you guys are friends number <laughs> What, what's your opinion on girls that do this type of content? Got uh, no opinion on it, to be honest. Um, but she, I want to know because you guys are friends, so it could she be. She makes brain surgeon money doing nothing, taking a couple pictures a day. So well, it's not he. It's not actually nothing. Obviously, it's like it can be stressful. But I mean, to him, it's easy because he's got all this work to do. Why are you pulling that face? Pull that. <laughs> yeah, these girls do. My opinion on it: do what you want. It's better than being broke in the UK, depressed. Yeah. She lives her life. She travels around. She takes a few pictures a day. She's not going mad on it. Like she's not doing all that type of shit. Yeah. But mate, it's just. I have a question. Getting the Sims. How much money do you make? What you don't want? say. But a I lot. mean, it's public, no? Like on. I no, think you can I calculate subscribers. Can you? No. Well, I don't know. I don't know if like you can work it out that way. But um, I make an a yearly wage in a month. Yeah. Like over a hundred thousand a month. Not over. Okay. I could if I tried really hard and I wanted to. Like right now, I'm quite like approximately relaxed. fifty. <laughs> You're basically getting me to say I'm not gonna say it. Give me like a this range. happened to me on another podcast yeah. as well. It's, it's a good way of questioning. Yeah. It gets out because you can see their I face make, when you know, they put it that way. I make, like you said, I make. Yeah, she makes money. Yeah. Yeah. And how Between much, fifty and hundred. And how much money do you make? You can guess. I, 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 I'm guessing. I've seen you say approximately two to three million dollars a year. No, way more than way that. more than that. I think that was an old podcast then. Yeah. Five million. I'm not going any more than that, but it's it's more than that, like five, a significant amount. More than five million a but year. But you say a year, like so. I I was making sort of um, uh, like a hundred and fifty k a month, whatever, on the plans, and then it's only since december that it's gone to the next level so it's gone from that the same level that went from me going zero to a k a day it's gone from it's the next step up so it's, yeah, it's, it's, you can't really work out as so you year. could be making a million dollars a month right now potentially so it is, is do you have like a, a monetary goal in your head like do you want to be a billionaire no to be honest it's it's not even a case of like wanting to be a billionaire of course i'd want like if i could be a billionaire i would be a billionaire but it's more just about having enough money for me to be able to do what I want and have fun. I'm, it's not, I'm not fixed on an actual number. If yeah. I had a number in my head of like what I want to get to, I'd like to have 100 mil. I'd like to get to 100 mil. Yeah. But it's like, if I'm on, 
if I get if I make twenty mil, if I make thirty mil or a hundred, I'll be happy either way. So I'll be able to do what I want to do. But yeah. um, for me, it's more just about the journey and, and the progression and, and keep leveling up and leveling up. So once you hit like a monthly uh, income, it's understanding how you got to that income and then how you can get to the next one and the differences. I think it's like you can be doing like a. I used to think a, I used to think a K a day was was fucked. Like yeah. absolutely. Fucked. Then it's sort of like you think you see five six K a day and you're like all right. But then you meet people that sort of do like 50K a day and you're like, right, okay, that's the levels. Then you start doing 20 or whatever. And then you go up and up and up. Yeah. But it's more just about the progression for me. I like unlocking the next level because for me, it's always been like, I'll go from sort of like making 10K a day to then just finding out something else, doing something else, adding something else to the to the back end and then making 20K a day. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's it's not a monetary goal for me. If I could be a billionaire, I would. But the only way I'm going to be a billionaire is if I get seriously, seriously famous. Which is possible. I don't. I don't uh, have any doubt in my mind. I can be globally big. Yeah. I always. I always have thought that since the start. Um. But I just need to enter other markets. I'm only big in the UK. No one in America knows who I am. I don't know about is, you. Is that a, is that a plan for you? Do you ever want to go to the? United yeah, States? yeah. I say like I want to go to Miami and stuff like this, but I just never have it. I never actually do it. You know. Yeah. I need to do it. I need to get some sort of American audience. I have zero. Um, it's pure UK. I think yeah. some like some American people know you though because they yeah, react course. to your stuff. Like, not who? Well, KSI reacted to your music video. That's from Is UK. he American? Isn't he? Isn't yeah, he? yeah, he's American. Biggest American. <laughs> yeah. He's not American. Is How he? do you not know he's American? He's like the biggest thing that's come out of the UK. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not American. No, no he's oh, purely okay. UK. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. put that bit out of the video? <laughs> I, need to, I need to enter America. Yeah, that's, yeah. Are you a big black guy in America? Yeah, or? I go three times. I want to say I'm huge in America, but like I have some people. In America. That's, that's, just, that's the biggest market, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. I, I think silly money. America is like the highest money, but I think it's kind of a hard market to stay relevant. And you have to actually be there, you know. Anyways, moving on. Um, since you're such a ladies' guys, how do you pick up girls? So I've said the same thing since, since the start, and it's always just to picture when you're going over to a girl number one don't even think about it but as you're going over like you are what she wants but yeah. I, I just i believe that fully yeah. so if a girl then pies me off i'm like all right well it's your loss like, that's what i think in my head i just walk off like nothing happened i know guys take it as a massive hit to their ego and their self-confidence they think oh am i ugly do i need to change my hairstyle do i need to do this if you go up to them and you and you can show them how confident you actually truly are inside that confidence oozes onto them and, and women like men who have got confidence. So, uh, do you have like a favorite pickup line you use? Do you want to hold this wood? <laughs> that's what I used to say. That's what I, that's, no, that's literally what I used Is to say. Is that how you try no, to pick no. her up? <laughs> no, in, in Marbella, that was like a, that was like a meme. I used to just go up to yeah. it because I was like, I was 19 yeah. and I didn't, I was like just thrown in at the deep end. Like I said, I, it was two weeks of me making like a K a day and then I went to Marbella. I had no idea about, I literally went to Marbella and put up a noose because People said that's where like the money is. That's where the fittest girls are. Yeah. So I'm walking down like a, a nice strip on Porta Banus in like bright pink swimming shorts, like an yeah. absolute whatever. Going up to like fit 25 year olds, just going, oh, do you want to hold this wood and this and that? I'm not giving a fuck. <laughs> and like, I got a lot of girls, like, a load of girls out there. It worked. Well, that's literally why I'm rated because it's like anyone can, not anyone, but to to be famous on YouTube, whatever, is 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 cool and stuff, but. For me to just actually like no film, like they didn't know I was filming. This was like, I'm just walking around. I'm picking up girls. I'm showing you guys how to pick up girls. And that is something that always will sell because guys cannot talk to girls. They've got no confidence. Yeah, now for guys that have no confidence, what would be a good approach? Like obviously not everyone can walk up and say, like, do you want to hold this? You know? What a good approach. What's, like? a, what's a good like way to approach a girl, talk to them? What's a good line? All right, what's your name? Where are you from? And Boom. then what? <laughs> and the combo just goes from that. Say, so, oh, I'm from here. Do you live here? Yeah, you're on holiday. Blah 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 blah. Oh, I think you're really nice looking. Do you fancy dinner tonight or whenever you're free? Yeah, I'll get your number. Boom, done. And it's that simple. That simple for me. You need to I go. Think you you have need to be to... confident, though. Yeah. Of course, yeah. You need to go to the gym. You need to ha like have a good haircut, I guess. But just go to the gym, take care of yourself, and come with confidence. I see uh, an ugly guy with confidence can outpull a, a good looking guy with no confidence. I've seen it happen. Yeah. So it's all about the confidence. If you're good looking, wham, and confident like myself, then it's, it's game over. 10 out of 10. I wouldn't say 10 out of 10. I'm not that much of a cocky twat. <laughs> well, what would you rate yourself out of 10? I would, I've never looked at myself and rated myself on itself. I think that's really gay. Uh, I, would, <laughs> I would look in the mirror and go, oh, I'm a 10 out of 10. Like, but I, as, like, as, a, as a person, not looks, like just generally as a person, what would you rate yourself? 
Um, well, I, I, I strongly believe that if you follow my mindset and if you was, if you actually looked at the world like I do, I think it's impossible to not be successful. So if you based it on that, I'd say 10, but, but like, I'm not, do you know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and say yeah, so I'm, I'm the perfect man. No, of course not. Yeah. Now, um, a few questions I wanted to ask. What's your opinion on gay people? Uh, if you want to be gay, you can be gay. That's fine by me. Don't try and push it onto other people. Don't try and uh, act like it needs to be taught in school and things like this. Yeah. That's, that's bonkers. It's bullshit. Um, but yeah, gay people, I would never walk down the street and bully someone because they're gay. Anyone, any man, any straight man that wants to bully a gay man for being gay is a f bitch. Yeah. Simple as that. Because real men don't need to show that they're powerful over gay men. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Live and let live. That's what I stand for. But yeah. there's limits of that. When you're trying to push it onto people, and it's not even, it's not, obviously the LGBT comes under the same thing, but it's more like transgenders and things like this. They love trying to push it onto people. Yeah. And that's where I'm like, look, like you're a fucking weirdo at the end of the day. Yeah. So don't try and tell me how I should act and how things should happen. If you want to um, act like you're a man or a woman, that's do what you want. But just don't 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 push that. it onto other people. Don't try and um. Is it Pride Month or something like this? Yeah. yeah. Right, right now? No, it's not. Right no, no, no. But like, there's just all these all this bollocks. Yeah. Just yeah. do what you want to do, but don't try and um. Don't don't try and push it onto other. Actually, people. recently I've seen like lots of videos on protests in UK. Have you seen them? What's your opinion on those? You know when they protest in the streets, they close the roads. You know, and it really annoys me sometimes because I see like people blocking up traffic, and like just, the person that pushes them gets in trouble, but they don't. That's the, yeah, it's just another that's problem with UK law. Yeah. It's just, it's the whole system's bullshit. These protests are just, they're ridiculous. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous. I saw they're literally blocking the road and no one could move and someone got out of his truck and pushed them and the police like jumped on and arrested him. Like, are they not supposed to move these guys out of the they're way? They're too scared of being not politically correct. So they've yeah. got to arrest the oppressor, even though the real oppressor is the retards in the middle of the road, blocking everyone off from doing their business. Yeah. and chatting shit yeah do you know what i mean that's just the way the system is and i mean hopefully it will change but i don't see it changing that's why i'm, I'm not even in the uk bro yeah they're on. trying to teach it in schools like that's what transgenders. i mean genders i think it's just crazy Mate, it's, it's that is beyond ridiculous to teach that to, to kids because kids are so impressionable they will grow up and become transgender yeah. they will start doing fruity shit <laughs> if they're taught fruity shit from birth <laughs> because they'll think it's normal they're well, talking, talking about adam do? and steve yeah Come well, what would you do if like let, let's say you do have kids what would you do if your son like turns out gay he wouldn't be I, happy i wouldn't i wouldn't do anything would i be happy no but would i do anything no i'd love him the same and um i would i, I would treat him the same as my straight son would i be happy no, no. i wouldn't i wouldn't be yeah my son can gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um no i wouldn't i would i'll be honest i wouldn't be happy i think a lot of dads aren't but you've got to accept them for what they are and that's fine yeah I think gay, like being gay is fine. Like obviously there's lesbian, gay, whatever. But I think like when they're trying to push transgender in school and stuff, it just doesn't really make sense. It's just but don't you think like, look, I'm very like, I'm like on my podcast, like I'm very like political, right? But this is also one thing I, I think like, you know, when people ask that question and people are like, it's fine, it's fine. But even I'll get lots of backlash for this. Why should we say it's fine? You know, because I feel well, like- well, Why should we say being gay is fine? Yeah. No, 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 I'm not saying that, like, as in, like, okay, we're not going to do anything to you, but I also don't think, like, people can't say it's not fine. Because let's say if everyone was gay and everyone was lesbian, then we wouldn't even exist. So the more we say it's fine and it, people get that impression, then they might just think it's fine. I agree with that. And that's why it's dangerous to teach it in schools. It, it shouldn't be spread. Um, and uh, yeah, anyth but, anything that spreads it at a more increasing rate is obviously not not good practice. But like even let's say you would say it's fine, but I feel like that's also us being scared of saying because there's a fine. big community, you know. No, from, bro, I'm not scared of any gay person or transgender person. I'm yeah. not scared of any of them. But me, for me to say this person needs to be put in prison because they if look imagine, no, but do you imagine think it was it's, you. it's like bad and wrong to be to like, be gay. I don't think it's bad no. or wrong. I don't. I'm not, I, I think it's wrong. I do think it's wrong. Yeah, it yeah. is wrong. It is wrong, but it's not bad because these people, uh, that's, it's very- You know what I mean? That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Because even me, I know I get like lots of, sh I would get lots of shit if I say this, but just playing devil's advocate. Like yeah. if we say it's okay, then some people might watch it and say, well, actually so many people are spreading the message and that guy says it's okay too. So fine. You know what I mean? If you're living your life and it makes you genuinely happier to suck a man's 
rather than to be straight, <laughs> then I'm not going to say to you, who am I to say to you, I'm going to stop you from being happy. I'm not any better than you. Yeah, I don't think I'm better than anyone. I don't think I'm better than gay yeah. people, transgender people. I'm not better than them. Yeah, it's just they if they ch- transgender is different to gay as well. Transgender is a, yeah. a different level of, fucked. but <laughs> gay is gay is like I'm. Who am I to say you yeah. can't be happy? There are guys and women that are in love with each other and live happy lives, yeah. and they don't affect anyone. They don't hurt anyone. Yeah, for us to go nah, fuck you like you're yeah, gay. Yeah, if, if they're doing put a private you in prison and all this shit, no, nah, that's that's a bit. For me, personally, I think that's extreme. However, would I like to live in a city where everyone was gay? No. Yeah. So that's the, it, it, this gay topic is very, it's, it's controversial, even for me, who, who doesn't even really care about gay people. But uh, if the whole world was, or the whole country you lived in was gay, I wouldn't live there. Yeah. Um, I'm sure no one in here would. So it's, it's, there is a problem with it getting too big. Yeah. Maybe if it, I mean, with the trajectory it's going on now, maybe it would need to be contained. Yeah. Maybe because I'd actually go as far to say that transgender people, they're like radicals. Like they're like some extremist in transgender people. Like the one I went live with on TikTok. Yeah. An absolute freak of a thing. <laughs> Was this a... El, Fa- El Faba. El Faba. Absolute freak who yeah. thinks it should be taught in primary schools and that it's normal and that that she's almost superior to us. It's crazy. How So maybe, maybe one day it does need to be contained. But... For now, especially gay people, I would definitely not say that that to, to harm them or anything like that. Yeah, and talking about it, um, obviously you said transgenders are different and stuff, but okay, getting into that type of space because I've seen transgenders that have been arrested and now they're like, well, I'm identifying as a female. I, in that sense, like you know what I mean? A transgender, a tra- transgender, you're not. It, it, say you're a, you start off as a man and you transgender to a female. You're not a female. Yeah, you're just a fucking weird man. Yeah. <laughs> so like that's how you should be labeled like you're you're quite like you're tapped in the head yeah. that, that is crazy yeah but that that's just man, i think i think this whole transgender ideology is just people really unhappy with their lives who want to make another group just like the body positivity group where they can all uh come together and do all their bollocks and just and and be happy and seek happiness i think it's just a a way of yeah um like de- deflecting just the fact that they just they hate their lives and talking about are you happy right now do you think as a person yeah, I don't think I could be happier to be honest, bro. Like, yeah, I'm I'm a happy guy. Yeah, yeah. What, like I'm never sad. I don't think I've ever been depressed. Yeah, the only t- the saddest moment of my life was when I got kicked out of school, and that was only because I my mum was like, like my yeah, mum was crying. My, my mum had paid for me to go to private secondary school, and then I got kicked out a year before my GCSEs. That was when I was depressed as such. I wasn't depressed really. I, I just, that was just like a sad moment because you disappointed her. I've, I've got a very good stress tolerance and things like that. So it's obviously very stressful getting kicked out, moving to a new school and stuff like that. But I just, I take things as they come. Um, yeah. I'm very good at dealing with stress. Even, or something really bad could happen to me. Yeah. Or, or, and I'd, I'd be good at dealing with it for sure. Uh, what would your advice be to people that I, I guess stress a lot, overthink a lot? Like what would you tell a younger version of yourself, I guess? To not overthink things and to, 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 instead of thinking so much, just do it. Yeah. If you overthink, you cause problems that weren't there. If, if you actually say to yourself, if I think something, I'm just going to do it straight away. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You get more done in the day. If you're sat there thinking, ah, oh, what if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? That creates anxiety, yeah. waste time. You get less done and it's not good for your health. So you yeah. need to actually practice just doing things. When you think something, do it. Yeah. Or have a very short time where you're thinking, should I do this? Should I not do that? Just, but just I'm very... I'm, I'm very, um, I don't think too much, even, even, um, like trips or whatever. Like I could be in Australia tomorrow for all I know. Like I, I might think tonight, oh, this person might text me from Australia. I'm just going to go there. I'm not going to think about it for days and weeks. You just waste time. The weeks become months, the months become yeah. years and you, um, you just need to act. I'm talking about it cause I want to bring you back in the topic. Um, obviously what, what's your life goals right now as well? Um, I don't really have like goals right now. I just want to make as much money as I can and like set myself up for my future. Yeah. Um, she's done really well for herself. She don't want to talk about it on this stream, but she's come from very hard yeah. background. So yeah, I think it's just the, the, this is a new world for her, I think. Yeah. But obviously doing the thing you do, is there ever a point you kind of want to step out of your industry? Um, yeah. So obviously there will become a point where I do want to stop. Yeah. Um, but I think right now, like I'm not, I'm young, like I don't really need to stop now. I yeah. think 
I can keep making more and more money, investing my money, et cetera. Now, this coffee's got me jittering. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for a one shot of espresso. <laughs> I've drank this and Bro, I can feel my man. hand like shaking. <laughs> <laughs> one of his workers has spiked me on it. <laughs> I'm not trying to see my hand just going like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like to have plans for your future is like a big question. Cause I mean, I've only actually really been doing it for like a little bit less than a year. So I've not been doing it long at all. Yeah. So I just think I could have been doing it since I was 18, but obviously I never knew like what was out there. I didn't know like the different opportunities and yeah. everything. And now like my life's just changed so much. Like I look back at my old life and I think like I literally had nothing basically. Yeah. Cause the only reason I ask is you've always seen like so many females that have done it and said later once they're like, like Lana Rhodes, you know, like yeah. later where they've tried to delete everything and said, they, I wish I never did do this. Or <laughs> There's anything. levels to the game though. Like Lana Rhodes gets... Yeah. Kim Bukaki and chucked up out by our next man. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think obviously, yeah. like when you're making decisions when you do stuff like this, you need to decide like how far you want to take it. Yeah. Um. Obviously, there's certain things I would never do on social media. <laughs> um. But like, I don't think I regret it. Like when I'm older, like I'm gonna get like when I have children, so I'm gonna give them the best life, and they're not gonna really be bothered like what I did. So I don't. Yeah. Care. It's a different thing though with what you do, which is not quite discreet as such. Compared yeah. to like, compared to like, like, like Lana Rhodes, like, that's crazy. But at the same time, I I wouldn't sit there and judge Lana. Like loads of people that judge Lana, they're all broke, they're all yeah. depressed. Yeah. Lana's got millions there. Yeah. So yes, okay, what she's done to get their millions is potent. You can talk about it, but you can't talk about it if you're a Tesco worker stacking shelves. No. Yeah. I'd rather I'd rather be Lana. Yeah. So um, I think you you have to be a certain caliber of person yourself to then talk about someone else. But I also find that once you get to that certain caliber of person yourself, you don't really have opinions of wanting to bring other people down, Yeah, which I don't, I never would be just hating on someone for the yeah. sake of hating on someone. I don't think, I don't see why people would regret it unless it's like off other people's opinions. I think because people like talk about it and they say, oh, you're a slag, you do this. Like, what are you going to do when you have children and all this shit? I think they listen too much to other people and then they think, oh, I regret it. But they don't, like, why, like, if you're going to do it, then don't regret it. Do you get me? Like, I, would, I would ask the question, if, if I was in Lana's position, and, and a hater on the internet says, what are you going to do when you're, I know she's had a kid, but what are you going to do when you have children? I would say, what are you going to do when you have children? Because you're going to be needing to try and can give her to your nan or something because you need to go to work and you're going to be struggling at the end of the month for your bills. So what are you going to do with your kid? Yeah. That kid will probably, obviously that, that that's an, it, Lana's an exception. Her kid's going to have a very, very difficult upbringing just due to the fact that that yeah. sort of stuff is on the internet. However, she, <laughs> mate, she's going to be a better parent than a lot of guys in the UK. Yeah. A lot of people judging and judging and judging. They're losers and they're insecure with their own lives and they'd rather think, oh, nah, like Lana's a slag, this and that. Mate, they're jealous. If they could fuck on the internet and make that money, I bet you they would. If you gave them five million or however much Lana's made, probably tens of millions. Yeah. Probably, innit? Yeah, hundred, probably, like, yeah, yeah, crazy amounts. Yeah, They would do it. They would all do it. Yeah. So, But obviously, I, I like to play this devil's advocate game. You said you're very open-minded, you don't judge. Would you ever be with someone that's had this history like would your partner ever be someone that's done no no what well, like porn yeah no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no okay no only fans when when i marry when i marry only fans no no when, when i marry i'm gonna probably marry a muslim virgin <laughs> i like arab girls no but like is, isn't that hypocritical how because you're saying i don't know i get what you mean because like he goes around all these girls and like saying oh like oh i'm gonna f this tonight like and all this shit and I'm, she might have a body cat like your mate's creasing at me over there <laughs> when he goes like when he gets older and he's like and he just keeps saying now oh i want to marry a virgin she can't have anyone she's got to be a muslim and all this shit it is a hypocritical like it is i agree with you because i mean he can't do one thing and then expect like his yeah, future but wife. i can i can though i've got like he, a few can, i've got a few, yeah, on, I've got a few on my telephone i've got a few on my whatsapp now who are potential futures in in, in five or whatever years and they've got no so problem they they've like, got no problem are they like dude. young right now or are you uh, they're like 21 23 okay. okay and they're muslim girls and they know what i do they see what i do but they understand they understand yeah. i'm making a lot of money doing what i do and yeah. that i'm young and that i live my life and that i'm a guy yeah, a guy being uh, going out doing what he wants is different from a girl. A girl being promiscuous like that, I wouldn't marry that. No, I'm not going to marry Lana Rhodes and and yeah. go on the internet and see her get fucking gang banged by nine fucking African guys <laughs> yeah. bigger <laughs> than me. Nah. Yeah, but no, no, I'll say because I mean no, I get it, but I'm just saying like obviously saying that it, it's good and it's okay and whatever. 
then why wh- why would it affect you? Because if she's done like not not her necessarily, like any girl that's done, let's say OnlyFans and made good money, as in they did it for work, why would that be bad for you? It wouldn't necessarily be bad for me, but like I said, I'm a guy with options, so I'm gonna choose the cream of the crop. Okay. And then gonna my, choose a Muslim version over and, someone that's yeah. an OnlyFans. And and in my and in my head, that's the cream of the crop. So it's just and, my sort of preference. You can't help who you fall for, but like that's what I'm aiming to do. Yeah, and obviously you said Muslim. Is is religion something you're looking into? I say this a lot as well. Like I would definitely like to explore the Muslim faith as I get older. Right now, I can't be saying I'm a Muslim as well. I'm like, it's, yeah. it's disrespectful. I, I'm not associated to any religion right now. I, it, it's mad disrespectful if I was doing that. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, I can change in the future. Do you know? What yeah. I'm but is religion something that you like want to look into genuinely from your yeah. heart, or you don't already? Yeah, for sure, because. Sometimes I might sit down at night and think, oh, like, how has this world come to be? Yeah. Why? Like, just ask the question of why. And that would lead me on to exploring religion. Yeah, but that's something I'll do when I'm not always on the work and all this stuff. Yeah. Which is probably, not, I don't know if that's a accepted way to look at it. I've said that to some Muslim people before and they've sort of said that that's a bit offensive. But I've just said, like, I'd rather be honest and say that right now I don't want to half ask something. Yeah. Especially with what I'm doing as well. I'd rather finish that life and be settled down and then explore religion and actually learn about it. Cause I'm a smart guy. Yeah. So I'd like to, I'd like to find myself. You yeah. might have too many sins though by the time comes. So who knows? I'll repent my sins. Yeah. Is that, but is that not something you think about? Like, is there like an actual, like, cause obviously saying that as well, sometimes you have to think to yourself, am I doing more sins while I like, is even me saying that I'll do it later. Is that, does that necessarily work? I think I'm I'm helping way more people than I'm not helping. Yeah. Like by a mass, mass, not just on the money scale. I'm helping like maybe seven, 8,000 people make money. But apart from that, I'm motivating guys to get in the gym, to not give a f- about other people's opinions. I'm help, I've helped so many people in the UK. I sold over 100,000 fitness programs. Yeah. So these, that's 100,000 boys, young guys in the UK that have got into shape because of me. Yeah. When I meet people, there's maybe like six or seven out of 10 that say, oh, bro, I bought your workout program. Like, I'm looking good, this and that. So I've changed these guys' lives in a positive aspect. I do way more good for the world than bad. Yeah. Yeah. And talking about the fitness stuff, um, obviously you always talk about being natty, natural. Uh, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, you've taken steroids. No, never. Never? Yeah, never. Neither's my dad either. My dad's way bigger than me. Oh, okay. But you've seen your dad? Because obviously you said- I've seen my dad like, our pictures and I've, stuff? no 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 i've seen my dad four times ta- five times and this is after when you grew up yeah this first when i was like 14 i went on holiday with him yeah but i've not had any type of good relationship with him no i've also got a half brother as well and a half sister i'd definitely like to meet them okay um but but that's that's sort of family things i don't really yeah need to you talk don't about talk that, about but, but yeah i would like to see them yeah yeah um but so- yeah and back to the gym the gym is a massive thing of genetic potential in the same way that anything is there's genetic potentials for looks. There's genetic potential for um, how big you can be. There's genetic potential for everything. There are guys that can talk well. There are guys that, that stutter. There are guys that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and it tends to be the case that African guys have got better athletic genetics yeah. than others. Than others? Than others. <laughs> others. Um, yeah, there's, there's, it's just, it goes down to genetics. Bro. So so never taking any t- t- no. sort of steroids? I actually was going to in, in Dubai, but I just, I don't need to because my brand isn't fitness anymore. Like okay. my brand is my brand is like money now yeah i go to the gym just to look good and the reason i say that because I, I had liver king on the podcast <laughs> and literally my my question was do you take steroids and he got mad at me like absolutely not, not li- liver- i would never this is disrusting uh, to even ask this question and then liver king is like in i saw that i was creasing <laughs> at home like, liver king's wham and how old is he he's like four i don't know three, yeah four, yeah, yeah. Like, he's wham i saw that yeah, that's his brand. So do I do I hate on him for lying about it? Probably not. Yeah. Because like, he made I mean, mills. he did send like an apology message to like, I think everyone that he did podcasts with. And... What, did he get vexed when you asked him? I mean, no, no, I wouldn't say necessarily. Yeah, kind of like he was like, look, I, I, you know, people ask me this question, but it's wrong. And you know, like he was really defending like that he's natural. And obviously I'm not going to question... I'm not going to say j- just look up Victor Yabuga on, on Google and you'll yeah, understand. Yeah, he's huge. He's under, massive. There's levels, that, that's there's levels to genetics and yeah, uh, where he's wham. 50 Crazy. years old, doesn't train, yeah. played rugby for England. Yeah. Damn, that's Big crazy. Um, final thing I'll say, uh, obviously 
you know Andrew Tate because I feel like nowadays. Um, did you ever meet him? Talk to him. Never met him. Never spoke to him. Um, what's your opinion on someone like him now? Yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, he, he does more good for the world than bad. Yeah, just talk talks real most of the time. 100%. I don't sit on the internet watching people, but you can't avoid watching him. Yeah, like, he comes up everywhere. Well, he, he did. I don't like right now. He's quite quiet. I don't see him on TikTok. Yeah, I feel like it actually is quiet. You know? I think I think they've censored him, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, bro, he's a, he's a good guy. And actually, I wanted to, last thing, because we spoke about this before the podcast started, you recently did a music video with someone called, is that General G? Yeah. Um, who is General G? How, how, like, So he was a, a supporter of mine who, from the early days, you know, when I said I went to Marbella, yeah. so this was like two years ago, he was cutting up clips since back then yeah. and posting them on TikTok and getting a few views, you know, like 50K, 100K views on TikTok and posting a few of them a day of me chatting to girls. And he's like a 40 year old autistic guy. I was on live. He invited me to his live recently, like two a month ago, two months ago. And he was like, oh, I want to work out. Can you help me? Can you help me work out and whatever? And this guy's on universal credit. Like he is broke and he's 40. Yeah. Like he's just, he was a lost guy. I said, bro, go to the gym for seven days and I'll fly you to Dubai. He was like, nah, fuck off, you're joking. I was like, bro, like, I swear I'll just fly you to Dubai like, for real. And he went to the gym and spent 300 pound on a year's membership for the gym. Like, <laughs> it, like it just makes no, who the fuck does that? Like, yeah. Why would you go spend a year? Just pay it monthly. But anyway, yeah, yeah he went and, and spent a year and went, oh, he just texted me going, oh bro, I've spent like 300 pound. I was like, bro, like, number one, I went, what the fuck are you doing? But I was like, number two, go to the gym for seven days. I'll fly you to Dubai. Yeah. I flew him to Dubai, gave him like half a mil followers on TikTok and like 120K on Insta in two weeks. Wow. Um. Like seriously blew him up. Like everyone in the UK knows him right now. He's big time. Well, he's falling off now because he's being a cunt. But he, at the time, I really liked him, helped him go from a really, really shy 40 year old, 40 year old autistic guy to a really, really confident, um, outgoing guy. I made a song with him. It was like top 20 in the UK charts wow. and he's never sung before. Um, and then bro, his ego just got too big and that's that. But so you best guys, of luck to him, yeah. Best but you guys are no longer friends. But he blocked me, bro. <laughs> he blocked <laughs> well, me as well. Yeah. <laughs> but why? Blocked, why would he block you? Because he's, him... he's gone on his own now. He basically, right, what happened was, is I said to him, I said, bro, don't get a manager in this game. You do not need a manager. They will rinse you on the back end. I'm telling you right now, if anyone wants to do business with you, just uh, tell me what the deal is. I'll tell you if it's good and I won't charge you because I don't need your money. He goes home, finds some manager who, surprise enough, is robbing him. Yeah, give him, uh, he'd made like 10K in free club appearances and got paid one. Yeah. And he's out in Thailand with me saying, oh, um, yeah, my manager ain't paid me, I'm broke, I've got no money. So I've paid for his flights to come. And I said to him, I said, I told you, but he's autistic, he doesn't understand. And he's just gone off with this manager now. He's a, he's a cunt. And yeah. they're in the UK together. So best of luck to him. Damn. But he's, you know, he's going to fall off and, and be an idiot. And I said to him, I said, bro, like you can keep this going. You can come to the bar. You can come to other places. You can get seriously big and you can do your own shit. Yeah. You can do your own brand. I've never done a brand deal in my life. Yeah. You don't need to. I said, bro, you can seriously make some money here and have a good life. Even if you're making like 10K a month for him. But that was cra like, that is yeah, crazy. Yeah, you don't have money. any money. Like, he, he's on credit, like 400 pound a month or something. Yeah. Um. But yeah, sadly it went the wrong way. His head's got too big, but I wish him the best. And that's and the I want to ask, do you have a lot of friends? No. None? No. Um, a couple. Yeah. Literally. literally um, friends that don't work. Bro, I, I, do, I do business with all of my friends. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I'm talking like three people and then like four. Four. And my mum. So it's like um, a very small circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, um, like uh, his brother over there is my friend. And um, like, yeah, literally one other guy. And final thing I want to say, have you ever been in a situation where someone's tried to scam you out of anything or <laughs> rob you? Yeah. Rob you? Yeah, actually, bro, do you know what I was saying? I was saying, I don't even care. I uh, was in Dubai. Yeah. The geezer come into into 5JBC with two fake police people. I thought were police. Yeah. I don't even know. This might not, I don't know if this can go on the internet, but if it can, I don't even yeah. care. Well, come in with two fake police guys, stuck it on me, said I was going to prison. Unless I gave him 50 grand. I didn't give him it. Gave him like six. Um, and yeah, that happened. That, oh. was, that was in Dubai. But you can't like make a case on him? I'm not snitch. Like. Damn. <laughs> no. But for sure it was fake or? Bro, it was fake police, fake CID. Damn. No, I, I mean, he check. can, I mean, you can't get into any trouble for that. Like he should. Yeah, of course. But like, I'm not, I'm not a snitch. Yeah. 
All right, anyways, last thing, and I just want to say, um, obviously it was great yeah, having you. Yeah, you said last thing like four times. Yeah, okay, I know. Just get, <laughs> The stories get crazy. I don't know where to stop it, you know? It's like, um, words of advice to your fans, the real ones watching, um, what would you say to them? Um, go after your goals, attack every day, make the most of your time. Don't let other people's opinions put you off your goal. Work out, eat clean, sleep well, and best of luck. All right, thank you very much, guys. That's been HS Sticky Talkie. Cheers.